Good evening everyone out there on YouTube. My name is Jared and this is my channel Mazda B3K. In this video we are going to swap the fuel filter on my brother's 1995 Golf Sport Sunstream. Sorry, Golf Stream Sunsport. I always get that mixed up. And without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so our fuel filter is here. It is located in the passenger frame rail towards the back, uh, about, uh, about two and a half, three feet in front of the tires. It, uh, so it's hanging out there, and it is a double nut style. So to get this loose, we're going to need two wrenches, one to hold here, and the one actually to turn this brake fitting right there. So I've already done a little bit of research. I'm pretty sure this is a three quarter and this is a five eighths. I happen to have a five eighths brake line wrench, sometimes called a flare wrench. And I'm going to get those on there and then we're going to crank on this and see if we can't get it loose. Um, it is held in place with a clamp. There is one big screw kind of up here. Let's see if I can get you some light so you can see it. Yeah, there it is. As you can see, you can go after it with a big uh, flat head, or you should be able to go after it with a hex head. So I'm going to leave that in place to help me break these lines loose. And then once that is done, I will remove the clamp so I can slide the filter out. I may be able to slide it forward as is, but we'll see. So let's get to switching it. Um, one thing to note, you can get access to this with the airbags fully down, but life is much better and safer if you can inflate the airbags. So that's just something to think about in this RV application. Okay, so it turned out not to be a three quarter like I thought. The closest thing I could get was a 21 millimeter. Uh, you might also be able to get some locking pliers in there. So anyway, I've broken it loose, and as you can see, there is fuel dripping out. So that is a reminder. If your fuel system is pressurized, it's going to squirt a little bit when you go to pull this out. Keep that in mind. So now the system's kind of depressurized. I can work on the other side. Shouldn't have too much of an issue. All right, I managed to get it out without having to take the clamp out. The rear brake line has a little wiggle room to it. So I was able to back it out of the way and then just push it through the, the clamp housing. So that's one less thing you got to do. So there she is. Uh, the fuel coming out the front looked okay, but there is some pretty nasty fuel coming out the back. All right, quit. Stop leaking. Says you there. I don't want fuel spilled all over my yard. All right. So our replacement is a Wix. It is a 33481. So what we shall do is slide this in through the back. We're going to look for any kind of an arrow that tells us if there's directionality on this thing. And I think the way we tell directionality is this has got a lip on it which would make it go in like this, I think. But we're going to look for an arrow or something like that. Oh, there we go. So this is toward what? I'm going to guess that's towards the engine. That would line up with what I'm thinking, but at least they could at least write two engine or something like that. But we're going to insert it like this, this being the front facing the engine, this being the back facing the tank. So let's go ahead and get this in. Alrighty, the filter is now in. Um, I had to loosen the clamp slightly, get enough wiggle room to slide this in the front like that. But it's in, so life is good. I'll just go ahead and take, I know you can't see very well guys because of the 
direction my light source is coming from, but take the caps off and then slide these lines back in position, get them on flush since they're compression fittings, and uh, just tighten them back up. Remember, you need a, I think it's a 5 8 line wrench for this guy, and I'm using a 21 millimeter for the nut that is actually on the filter. And that ominous creaking you're hearing, that is the airbag slowly leaking down. So I kind of need to finish this before I almost get pinned under here. Right, let me move my light source here. Okay, quick pro tip. I found that I could not get enough slack on the front brake line to do, or sorry, the front fuel line to do anything. So what I did to get it in is I actually swung the clamp back so I tilted the fuel filter up like that and that gave me the room to bring the fuel line back in line and then I brought it back down was able to push the line the, you know the um, the flared end of the fuel line in so I was able to start screwing this in the back you've got a little you've got some wiggle room so you just got to pull it back forward tighten it back up so again I apologize for the lighting guys um, trying to do camera and light at the same time. I don't have my tripod with me. But here's your back and your front. And this is all a pretty straightforward operation. I just, I tend to over explain stuff sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to tighten these up and then the job should be done. Alrighty, we are done. I call this a successful repair. Alrighty folks, that's going to do it for this particular episode where we replaced a fuel filter in a 1995 uh, Gulfstream Sunsport RV. If this video helped you out, please like, share, subscribe. Also, leave a comment. I like to read them, I like to reply to them, and I like to learn from them. And lastly guys, remember, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. I'll see you guys next time.